you don't think there will be a chaotic, even if we leave, leave with no deal? Well, I think there should have been no deal planning from a much earlier phase and in much more uh, high profile manner. And in fact, I think that should have been the government's strategy is to say to the EU, we think you'll find this all too difficult. So we'll spend the next two years getting ready to leave on WTO terms. But if you want to come and knock on our door and talk about a possible ex gratia payment and free trade so, deal so and mean... all the rest, then then let's do it. But but the government didn't do that. So... So, so you are prepared to admit now that actually if we have no deal, it will be chaos? No, I don't necessarily think it will be chaos. I think at the 11th hour, some planning is now uh, happening. Uh, I think what's not being priced in here is the uh, grave risk of bigger economic chaos if we don't leave on March 29th as the British people were promised. You only have to look over the channel to France and to Paris to, to hear the French finance minister say that the yellow vest protests there are a catastrophe for the French economy. So, you know, uh, our, our just, just, economic growth depends on uh, social consensus about the legitimacy of government action. But you, but you will understand that for a lot of businesses in Suffolk and across mm. this region, if we go on WTO rules, mm. actually they, they will, there will be tariffs for a lot of those people dealing with Europe. Well, the British government will get to decide uh, uh, kind of what tariffs they wish to levy on, on, on goods and services uh, coming into the country. So for consumers, that could be good yeah, news. Yeah, but going out, with, if, if, you, if, if it's adding to the cost of your product being sold, it's... Yeah, but, but it will be the, the importers who, who pay those tariffs, and there are all sorts of other ways we can compensate um, uh, right. companies for, for any short-term difficulties. Well, I think Boris Johnson would have actually done a better job from the start because everyone would have understood that we were definitely leaving on March the 29th, deal or no deal. And in that circumstance, uh, the EU side would have taken it seriously. They've never really believed it of Theresa May. But the biggest factor is Labour MPs, Conservative MPs, Lib Dem MPs conspiring against the democratic verdict we of the British on. people.